All right, class, settle down. Class is in session. Everyone get to your seats. Hey there, YouTube. I'm Yukitsu. This is the Yukitsu Times. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to our little Let's Play Guide to Don't Starve. It's night number nine, just on the dawn of day 10. Today, we're going to work on expanding out our base camp. Getting a few more of the things that we need to get going here before uh, winter comes. And winter comes really quickly. We've only got 10 more days before winter hits. That means we're halfway there already. Uh, let's go burn down this tree. Looks like a good candidate for it. And let's burn down this copse of trees that I had set up for this explicit purpose. Let's go burn down this one as well while we're at it. And I think this one as well. Okay, we're burning down these trees so that we can gain charcoal. Charcoal is one of those important resources for this phase of the game. We want to use it to build drying racks, crock pots, and all that other good stuff. So we might also want a boomerang uh, since we might go qualify hunting pretty soon. A boomerang requires silk for some reason. I'm still not sure about that. And uh, charcoal and a board. So fairly simple recipe. It'll be your first range weapon. And it'll be the only one that you'll be using for quite some time. Uh, you could theoretically go run in and get, um, what's it called? A blowgun, but they're hard to get, and it's hard to get shots for it, so not really worth it, in my opinion. And, uh, we're also going to spend the day hunting down manure and grass, so that'll be today. Now, this stage of the game, when you've sort of got a birdcage, you've got all the resources you really need for quite a bit of your base, uh, you're going to find out that you're running a little bit lower on food, and that's fine. Uh, the reason that I'm running a little bit lower on food is because I'm not running around searching. I'm not looking for berries or carrots or anything like that, and uh, that's fine. The farm that I have set up is going to be just profitable enough, uh, sustainable enough, that I should be able to live through the next few days without any problems before I've got everything set up. After that, I'm going to want to start hunting. Uh, Qualifant ate meat. It's enough for like three, four days. The combination between that and honey uh, is just really good. Actually, we're in luck here. We're going to check the suspicious track right here. Uh, that means a Qualifant is about, and we're going to get it. It's just going to be a grab of opportunity, because again, we're ahead of the game here a little bit. We don't need to be uh, getting our base set up this much faster. So, taking the time off to hunt a little bit, perfectly legitimate. All we have is a spear that's going to make it a little bit difficult to catch him, but we're near the edge of the map, so it should be a little bit easier. The Qualifant runs away from you, kind of like a gobbler, uh, and he's faster than you, so you're not going to be able to click on him with a melee weapon. Well, you can, but it won't do anything. What you need to do is get him caught on the edge of the shore. Just keep following these tracks, but uh, once you catch him, you want him caught against the shore so you can swipe at him with your spear. From there, you can just go ahead and thwack away, just kiting him backwards. Uh, once you hit him once, he'll stop trying to run away from you. He'll try and kill you, and that makes him pretty much easy meat. And a lot of it. Uh, we're also going to use that Qualifant trunk. We're probably just going to eat it. I don't think we're going to be able to make the breezy vest, since I don't think we're going to be able to get the uh, requisite silk in time. Okay, so here's the Qualifant. I'm gonna try and drive him towards the shore here. One, two, three, four, back off. One, two, three, four, back off. One, two, three, four, back off. One, two, and I think that's something like uh, 14 hits or whatever. Let's grab up all this meat. But yeah, as you can see, a huge profit in meat. We didn't spend too much time, so we've still got plenty of time to go uh, grabbing up manure from those beefaloes to sort of bolster up our farming efforts. But we need this uh, grass first and foremost. Grass lets you uh, build rope. Rope's a necessary part of those drying racks that we're going to build. Since I killed a beefalo, or sorry, a koala fant, I keep mixing those up, uh, we've got tons of meat, and we're going to turn it all into jerky. And... For this, I will probably want to build four racks or so. Uh, typically, my end base camp, I've got something like ten drying racks. Uh, they're one of my favorite things to build just because they're all renewable resources. They let you store lots of jerky for a long period of time because uh, the jerky that's still on the drying rack won't decompose. So you can just store it there. You don't need a fridge, and uh, it'll last forever. 
just pull it off as you get new pieces of meat, eat it, or put it in recipes. You can use a large jerky for whatever recipe you would have used a meat in, so ends up being just as good, if not better. I'm going to pick up some of this manure as well. Uh, I want to spend the night also uh, cycling through plants. And one of the best ways to cycle through plants is to just click manure onto your uh, plant so that it's fertilized. It'll grow really, really fast and you can basically use two to get a plant immediately. Now that's getting dark, let's start heading back in the general direction. Uh, we don't have to go back quite yet though. Just looking for a little bit more grass. And this will get us through. Now this one isolated beefalo, we might kill him. Uh, just because we want to get that beefalo horn. Uh, and the reason that you want a horn is that it will uh, help you make a big fur hat. And that's incredibly useful. Um, actually, it looks like he's got some buddies there. We're going to also start culling the spider nests because we want to make sure that they're in check. Uh, once they hit level 3, which is signified by that extra bump on top, it'll have 3 bumps. Uh, we'll want to cut it down and uh, replant it so that way it doesn't turn into a spider queen and so that we get a lot of silk. Okay, so let's start prototyping. It's night, so we're not really going to be uh, getting much done in the way of work. Um, trying to see where my wood is. It looks like I must have used absolutely all my wood. That's, that's fantastic. Uh, so let's add some fuel to this and we'll spend the next day uh, chopping wood as well. Let's also make sure we're all dapper looking. Perfect. And let's get to building. Okay, so we need tons of rope. Got plenty of twigs, so we should be okay on that front. Add that in there. Let's get our dinner ready. We're getting pretty hungry, so let's cook up this coal plant trunk. And uh, that's one of the immediate benefits of coal plant trunks. Let's see here. Another drying rack right there. We're going to immediately hang up some meat on those drying racks. We don't really want to eat the meat as it is because refining it into those uh, jerkies is just so much more efficient. You get so much more of everything from that. Okay, so we want two more of these. Well, we'll wait till morning before we do that. In the meantime, let's cook up that carrot, eat that as well, we'll use that to top ourselves off. But let's harvest the rest of these crops, put down some more seeds, and try and get those plants that we want. What we want to grow are dragon fruit or eggplant. Uh, either of those are very good crops to have just sort of uh, permanently kicking around. And they're great sort of stockpile food for winter as well. Uh, one dragon fruit can be combined with three sticks to make a dragon fruit pie, and that's just a hugely profitable uh, way of cooking things. Okay, so let's drop down these. Let's open up our chest. Get these rocks out. Uh, refine ourselves some cut stone. I think it's three for this. I'm just looking at the crockpot recipe at yeah, three. And what else did I need? I need sticks. I'm short on sticks. Pretty impressive that I managed to run out of those, honestly. So let's just run, our, run around here, try and get as many of these as possible. I should actually check to see where all the sticks are at. Um, no, I'm not in a very stick-heavy biome. I'm going to have to transplant some. Now, sticks can be transplanted without manure, unlike grass or berry bushes. They're an excellent thing to have uh, a shortage of in your area. You can always just pull them up like this, pick up the stick, pick up the sapling, and uh, you're good to go. Okay, so we've got six sticks now. I'm gonna keep uh, going around and getting more, but we're also gonna need grass. 
Well, that'll be enough for today. We are, after all, going to keep hurrying along. Uh, pick these seeds as well. Blowing through my seeds fairly quickly because I'm not getting that crop that I want. Once I do, I'll be able to throw it into the birdcage and we'll end up with something better. So, let's get this crock pot. Uh, I'm going to chop down this tree since I don't really like it being here. Once that tree's in the way, that should make room for a crock pot. Uh, shovel. Now, this has been prototyped and built, so I don't need to do anything fancy there. Put it right there. And uh, like I said, need to chop wood today. And I'm also going to think about building a butterfly nest uh, pretty soon. And the reason for that is I want to get more flowers near these bees. They aren't producing quite fast enough for me. Get those sticks down. And once you've got your uh, bees sort of set up, they're good to go. But what I also need to do is build a refrigerator. That's going to be another priority before winter. Um, now, I'm still pretty sure that that's a trap of some sort, so I'm not going to go take that refrigerator. So what I might have to do is go all the way down to that uh, Maxwell biome. But instead, what I'm going to do first is actually... Hmm, the graveyard biome, I think, is over here. So that's a long trek as well. Doesn't seem like there's any easy solution for me in terms of finding a uh, gear, so... Well, we'll worry about that a little bit later. We don't have to worry too much about it because we have got a uh, good setup for uh, sustainable farming and for jerky, which will help us survive over the winter, which means we can build a fridge next year. Okay, so I can refine. Get ourselves a rope. Go to survival and get ourselves a bug net. Perfect. Uh, and you may as well just sort of go through the entire um, bug net with these butterflies. Get that while I'm here. Bit of a snack, as it were. And leave the gobbler alone. Don't, don't think it really matters right now. Now, butterflies, the more that you plant, the more there will be. So, let's just drop these down here. Since they spawn from these flowers, more flowers means more butterflies. Okay. That looks like that'll be good for today. One of the other things we need to do start getting the resources that we'll need for traps. Uh, tomorrow we're going to start trapping a lot of spiders. And the reason that we're going to be doing that is we need more silk, because we're just ridiculously uh, deficient in silk. In fact, I used the last of it to make this butterfly net. Uh, I can only cap capture four more butterflies, so... But as you can see, we're filling up with honey really quickly. This is going to be a good, sustainable form of food for us. It's going to be one of the more important forms of food for us as well, because it's uh, part of a recipe that I tend to use quite often, which is the, um, I can't remember what it's called, it's the honey ham. It's made out of one monster meat, one meat, or one jerky as it were, and uh, two honey. So you need that honey, and it's basically a full day's worth of food, that one honey ham. 75 points, and you basically expend 70 points every day. I'm going to pick grass and twigs through the night. That's pretty much what we need right now. Uh, I also should be cutting down trees, but again, like, you just only have so many hours in a day. So the spider's nests are getting larger and larger. Um, I need to cut them down to size pretty soon. Otherwise, I'll have uh, spider queens pretty close to my house. It's usually about, I think it's every about 12 days that you should try and get a handle on them. Um, maybe it's a little bit less, but uh, I'll double check that in a little bit. Um, in any event, at this point in time, we're largely stable. Um, we're going to hunt down Qualifant whenever we can. We've got plenty of food for ourselves just from that farm. 
Uh, we've got lots of food in our inventory as well. And... Sorry about that. I accidentally tapped out of the game there a little bit. Um, basically happens uh, quite often. I play this in window mode, so I end up screwing that up quite often. Uh, anyway, we've got plenty of food, and we've got pretty good options as far as uh, our stuff goes. We're going to need to build a refrigerator pretty soon now, just because our food's starting to go rotten. So we're going to go down to Maxwell's biome um, and get the fridge that way. Uh, it seems like that'll be the safest option, really. Our refrigerator, very important. It's, uh, it's something that you'll want to get before wintertime. Oh, good lord. Uh, hold on one second. I was just getting this problem that I've been getting lately. Uh, sometimes when I'm walking downwards uh, or in one of the directions in general, I get stuck walking in that direction. Uh, don't know if it's ever happened to you personally, but it happens to me semi-frequently. It's really annoying. Not sure what causes it, but, uh, you know, it might just be one of those bugs in the game that uh, will get addressed eventually. Um, so looking at our inventory, we're going to need to build uh, a helmet to go take the... To go get that um, gear that I want. For that, I need a hammer. I need more twigs and I need more grass. So, actually, I think I've got enough grass. I just need twigs. So, we'll go pick those up. Uh, that'll give me my football helmet. Uh, I also want to build some armor, so let's get on that. Perfect eat ourselves some of our food that we've grown. Growing all this food, but we're not eating it. Popcorn, pretty good. It's not great. It's a little bit better than a carrot. Cookies up while we're at it. Ah, finally. Okay, I'm gonna harvest this dragon fruit, and we're going to feed it to our bird. Dragon fruit is a really excellent product. Hopefully we got two seeds, nope, just one. So we're just gonna have to keep, repeat, uh, keep repeating this process over and over again until we do get the correct one. Huh, another bird, we'll eat that later. Or we'll get a feather from him, one of the two. But in any event, let's head on out. I just need to figure out where the touchstone is. Um, okay, so we're just going to go around and collect twigs up until that touchstone uh, that way we can get a hammer, we can go break down. Ironically, the touchstone when you uh, break the pig heads gives you twigs, so I could do better if I actually got that. There's a qualifant track there, but we've got meat for now, uh, too much for our drying racks to handle, so we're going to leave that be. Uh, once we've got up a uh, bigger drying rack set up, probably in the second year, we can get qualifants like every day if we want to, but uh, until then, that's just not going to happen. I keep remembering that uh, this map, there's just no twigs around my spawn, so I have to start transplanting them around near me. Uh, but that's fine. Twigs are pretty easy to transplant. <laughs> it's a shame that you can't combine uh, gear that's about to break. That would be a nice feature of this game, I think. Okay, so let's uh, pick this. Let's dig up this as well. Okay, and that's enough for our hammer, so let's run back to base, build a hammer, build the pigskin. You know, I'm even going to bring this one with me. Uh, we're going to take all the twigs back with us on our way back from Maxwell's biome, just because uh, that seems like that would be an efficient way to do things. I should really check out where that goes, but uh, there's no real need for me to take that yet. Uh, I'll take it on the way out just to see if it happens to lead near Maxwell's biome. Uh, I'm not really going to hold my breath for that. You want all your flammable resources a little bit spread out so that they aren't getting uh, all destroyed at once. Oh, forgot to plant these seeds here. Because we're just so busy running around in circles. Okay, let's get that hammer built. Uh, I needed to build two rope. Okay, now, 
The football helmet is a really strong defensive item. You get to wear it on your head so you don't have to take off your backpack. That's uh, personally why I like the thing. You can build log armor instead and just go with the log armor, but uh, for where I'm going, I want to have both. And it's nice that I also have a tentacle spike bat, which is a really powerful weapon. It's the second strongest in the game. There's a shadow sword that you can make using shadow manipulator. That's better. But uh, other than that, though, this is the strongest in the game. Okay, so you get two pig uh, pigskins and a stick for this. I'm going to take all of these since pigskin are really useful. I can use it to make a whole bunch of football helmets so I need to, or I can also use them to build pig houses around my base. Um, and the reason you want pig houses around your base is that they provide a little bit of defense, you can harvest them for meat, uh, they're just all around really useful guys. So, good to have about, I like them, they're a good friend to have. Uh, you have to be careful when you're dealing with the hammer, uh, you tend to bash your own stuff in. Uh, when you bash your stuff, you break it, and uh, the alternative is you knock all the stuff out of it and have to rearrange everything. So let's open up this chest. Let's put this charcoal in here. Let's put these pig skins. Actually, no, we need that for just one second. Let's put our hammer in here. Careful to do it this way. Otherwise, we'll bash it with it. Let's get ourselves a rope. Let's get ourselves a football helmet, which we'll wear immediately. And, uh, yeah, we're out of box space, but that's fine. I think we have enough inventory room for what we want. Let's just dump this here. Let's dump these rocks here. And, uh, we'll take our pigskin with us because I think people eat those. Okay, so let's give this wormhole a check. We're taking, essentially, a gamble that this is going to save us some time. And look how much time that saved us. Oh, perfect. Uh, of course, now we're in the spider biome, which is... Uh, literally hell on earth. It is full of spider queens, and I'm going to need to build uh, something so I can burn all this down from a safe distance. But other than that, uh, this has been good. That was a really great shortcut. So let's head on up to Maxwell's biome. We just want to mess with a few of the guys here, um, bash them to pieces, and take their internal clockwork. So it's getting late, but that's fine. Oh, good. This is perfect. They're fighting a pigman. Let's get in here. Look at, with, the, with all that armor, look, they just barely put a dent on us. Uh, I'm gonna eat all these. Now these gears are required for those refrigerators that I was talking about, so they're very important. Now we can build ourselves a refrigerator. Let's see if I can find any twigs on the way back. We're of course going to take that wormhole back. And that'll save us some good amount of time because wow are we ever far from home. We're not actually that far away from home. This is probably like um, maybe a minute and a half long walk-in game. But uh, yeah, oh, we're out of a shovel. That's fine. Let's pick that. Okay, so the only problem here is that, of course, it's full of spiders. Uh, not the most pleasant of things. But one of the things I tend to run out of really quickly is rocks. So the fact that I can use this place to go get a whole bunch more rocks is really nice. 